Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm here with our June 25th new releases. I cannot believe that June's almost over, but we have our new releases today and we're getting started into like our fall transition-ish. So let's just go ahead and get into it. We'll start with the foil since that's like the foil's fall. We have a summer to fall transition kit and then we have like an anytime kit here. We were going to do two anytime kits this week, but um, all the foil that we have designed right now is fall, so I thought it'd be kind of weird to do like two anytime kits and like fall foil, so put one of the anytime kits this week, and then the other anytime kit is going next week with a fall kit, because next week we have fall foil too, so whatever, it all works out. Um, so yeah, let's just get started with the foil. The foil this week is leaf themed so this is my favorite fall theme to do so of course gonna do this one first so first we have our leaf brick texture love this sheet next we have these little falling leaf scenes so we have some like street lights with some leaves falling tire swing and a like bench swing and then some um, windows as well we have some falling leaf dates. One, two, three, four, five, five months on here, so that's super fun. Next, we have just some regular leaf deco. You have some like flat ones, and then some that are kind of like almost like falling. Then we have these blowing leaf dividers. They're not like full width, they're more. I want to say like one inch ish, so they won't take up like the full width of a column like a divider, but not well, yeah, I guess like a a true divider, but this is more like deco leaf feeling. I don't know how else to explain it, but here are the actual leaf dividers, which do span the full width of the column. So just like a different variety of different leaf dividers. And we're back to the eye on that. And then for the washi this week, we have this blowing leaf day washi which you have your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday here. It does go all the way across for the Monday but you could also cut it off if you don't want this extra little part there. And then the, where did they go? The falling leaf dates go really well with it because they have like the little leaves that kind of like blend in with it. But there's two weeks worth here. And then we have the leaf washi, which matches those leaf dividers. So just like the same assortment and variety as the dividers, just in washi length. So there's the foil for this week. Next, let's just do the fall transition kit and then we'll do the anytime kit afterwards. Um, so this kit is called Changing Seasons, contrary to what this full box page says. All, every single page in this kit says changing seasons, just I guess the full box page when it was designed did not get the memo and had a different idea in mind. It's, it says changing leaves, but it's changing seasons. Um, so here are the full boxes. The light fall kit, not super like dark tones. Um, I really love like the sage green with the like kind of orangey colors or peachy colors, I guess, for fall. I think it is like one of the most beautiful combinations ever. Um, and I think like this lightness makes it perfect for transition, um, but could also just use it in the middle of fall too, it's up to you. But I love these kits because um, where I live in Georgia, the like sometimes it'll be fall um, and then like the next day it'll feel like summer, kind of just depends. So every year we have this, um, fall festival that's the last weekend in September and one year you could be wearing like jeans and like five layers to keep warm and then the next year you could be wearing like shorts and a tank top it really just depends um so that's super fun but love this so anyway enough of that let's just get into the full boxes so here we have this really pretty like scene as a picture with some foiled leaves and some florals more florals with that really pretty green background this really pretty sweater, more flowers. The quote says, with the change, changing seasons come new beginnings. Here's this girl here, kind of like scrapbook layout almost. Um, and then some foiled blowing leaves there. 
this little bike with a basket on the front and then some foiled birds and then another basket full of what looks like bread. Um, this looks like my bike and I really want a basket for the front so I might get that and ride it in the fall. I don't know. Anyway, here is another box here with this really pretty ladder with like some blankets and such, a foiled basket, some more foiled leaves, and then this really pretty lake scene, and then more florals. I don't think I mentioned it, but this kit is in Champagne Cold. I want to keep it light. Um, we have a couple full kits designed right now, and I was like picking the foil colors for it. I picked them yesterday. And I have a really bad habit of making every single full kit like, like basically rose gold, so... Um, I tried to do some gold and silver, so we'll see if I can stick with that. But anyway, here are the colors for this kit. We have like a peachy color, an orange, a like creamy yellow color, and then this like aqua-y like bluish green color. Super pretty. I feel like rose gold would be a little overpowering for this kit. Um, here are the headers. It's like a confetti leaf, foiled floral headers as well. You can see the really pretty assortment of colors there. I love that texture there. And then that bluish green color is the lace. Continuing to the washi, we have the same foil, like it matches. So you have your confetti leaf thin strip, your foiled florals, your blue green lace. The date covers are in the orange color. And then for the deco, we have that sweater, the basket of bread, the ladder, some mushrooms, and then like just some acorns and leaves. Here is the foil add-on. So again, the confetti leaves in washi and divider form. Could easily cut these up and make it just cluster deco, but you also have cluster deco here. Some leaves, some of those like trailing leaves. Here are like the falling ones and then like regular leaves. And then you have some of that leaf brick texture here if you wanted to decorate with it and then this really pretty um like tire swing with the leaves falling off of it so a couple elements that were pulled from these sheets for this week but they're like on a sampler so mainly to go with this kit but this could really go with any fall kit here is the deco so we have a rocking chair a like clothing rack Two girls here, a bike, a stack of books, a stack of blankets, and a sweater. Here is the journal add-on. We have the floral deco add-on. And then we have the alcohol ink swatch add-on. As usual, showing this in white, but most people opt for um, transparent for that. And then last but not least, we have our co Coquette kit. Um, and this is in rose gold foil. It is what I would think is an anytime kit. I mean, maybe I wouldn't use this in the winter, but you still could. Like, there's nothing here that like really makes me think that you couldn't. Um, so up here we have this little dining room scene with a foiled chandelier, a stack of books, and a candle. Some strawberries. The quote says, it's the little things. More florals. This really pretty outfit with a bow and an envelope. And then we have this bedroom scene with a stack of books and this kitty and some birds outside. So lots of pink in this kit. So we have four different shades of pink with the rose gold foil. Here is the functional page. Really love this damask pattern. And then we have the dotted scallop headers. That same damask pattern is here. Love that in the thin strip with the dotted scallop washi as well. The lighter shade of pink as the date covers. You have some deco here. We have a swan, a candle, a butterfly, a bow, and then some tea with a macaron. Here is the foil add-on. So we have the um, dotted scallop washi and dividers. We have some of this like floral with the dangles on it. it matches really well. Lots of books, lots of bows, and then some like hanging flowers. 
here's the deco add-on. So we have two girls here, a swan, a couple different outfit options, this jewelry box, a bow, and a butterfly, and then the like dining room scene. Here is the journal add-on. Obviously, if you don't like pink, you are not going to like this kit, but love this. The floral deco add-on. And then the alcohol ink swatch add-on, which I think is like a really good staple for your alcohol ink collection if you'd like. In my opinion. So that is Coquette. And then we have, of course, the other kits that we went over. So we went we have the Changing Seasons. The title on this page almost threw me off again. And then we have our Leaf Foil. So that is everything that we have for you this week. If you are watching this on the day that I upload it, which is June 25th, um, our subscription, today is the last day to subscribe. Um... We have like a super moody rain type of themed kit. You can see the mood board on our website. I also posted about it in the YouTube community tab on Instagram and I sent an email. So um, don't miss signups. They will close, did I say 11.59 p.m. 11 PM tonight, Eastern Standard Time. No exceptions because the system will not let me. So yeah, um, sign up for that if you haven't already. If you're watching this after the 25th, sorry, it's already closed. Um, and yeah, um, as usual, you can save an, addi an additional 10% off the new releases this week. Um, so you can save extra. And I think that is everything that I have to say today. Um, yeah, let me know uh, if you are ready for fall kits, what you think about this transitional kit. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. Have a great week.